What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Theos in order to start iOS tweak development on your computer. If you ever wanted to learn how to make iOS tweaks for your jailbreak, then this is the first step you need to do to install Theos because that's how we build iOS tweaks. This video is brought to you by Rayboot, a software that allows you to easily fix your iOS device if it's stuck in recovery mode, boot loop, and so on. So we need to install Theos, which is a cross-platform build system for creating iOS tweaks. Now with this, you can create pretty much any kind of tweak you imagine and you can also get the dialib files at the end the deb files to distribute with repos and so on so that's how most people make tweaks now i would highly recommend you do it on a computer because while you can build tweaks on ios and you can type them on the ios keyboard it's not a pleasant experience so the theos can be installed on windows mac os and so on so if you go here to installation on theos.dev you can see that they have ios support from ios 5 and up mac os support from mavericks or 10.9 and up linux and windows on linux kernel 3.16 and windows 10. now i'm going to show you on mac os in another video i will do windows as well but if you want to get started with tweak development this is the bare minimum you need to do in order to get yourself going to install theos you need homebrew and homebrew can be found on here so it's brew.sh this is the command you need to paste you press this button over here go into a terminal window go ahead like this and press enter this will install brew but you need your password first this is the password you use to log into your computer by the way and yeah this essentially installs like a package manager for your mac in order to be able to install various commands from various repos now once you have brew or Mac ports or precursors, you need Xcode as well. Xcode can be found in the App Store. It looks like this. So this is used to build iOS apps. Now, once you have all this in place, you have to run this command over here. This will get everything you need in order to get Theos running. So in the same terminal command, you go ahead in here. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so that you can see. I pasted the command and I press enter. And this will start installing and configuring Theos. That's about it. You can now close the terminal window completely, make sure you quit out of it, and you should be able to just run the commands. All right, so after the installation is complete, all you need to do is to get into the NIC, which is the new instance creator that allows you to select what kind of tweak you want to make. To do so, you just open a new terminal window and you have this command. So it's dollar sign theos in capital letter slash bin slash nick dot pl. And this will open this kind of menu over here where you can select the type of tweak you want to make. So in here, you would very likely have to select the number 19 over here. So iPhone tweak. If you're making a Swift tweak, iPhone tweak, Swift. This one allows you to integrate Swift. I would go with number 19, which is a simple iOS tweak. Press enter and we're going to have to give it a project name. So it's going to be test, test, tweak. Then you're going to have to give it a bundle identifier. So like com.apple.something. So in my case, it's going to be com.geosnow.testtweak. It can be anything really. And then the author maintainer and then the mobile substrate bundle filter. Essentially, what will this tweak be? For. If you want it for Springboard, you can have com.apple.springboard and the list of applications to terminate upon installation. So dash for none or Springboard. Let's say Springboard because we would want it to respring and that's it. Now it has created in the working directory, in this case on desktop, the folder containing the tweak itself. So that will be tweak.x. This is where your code will be. Then you have the tweak P list and this one contains information about the tweak itself and the filter and whatever so what bundles are supported in which apps you want injected then you have the make file which will build the tweak a control file and that's it so here in tweak.x if you open it in xcode or any file editor really you're going to see this template over here you can remove this and start building your own or you can work around it but um, you essentially have to use the same pretty much the same language. It's mostly Objective-C with some modifications over here. And um, the way you do it is essentially by using the ORG over here to perform the original function. And then you can hook certain features, certain functions, for example, I don't know, UI kit stuff, and then pop an alert or change the direction of something, you know, modify the behavior of said function, and then pop ORG again in order to continue the function from where it left off. Now, here you're going to get into it and you're going to write your 
first week, but we need a completely different video for that because it's quite convoluted. You're going to have to find headers for various frameworks in order to see what the hook. There are ways to find other UI components by using Flex, for example. So we're going to get into those in a different video, but that's how you get started. Making the tweak is actually simple as well. You can run a command to make a rootless tweak. So you would CD into the uh, directory containing all the tweak data like this. And then you're going to have to run this command, this make do, and you're going to have to add theos underscore package underscore scheme equal rootless. This will create a rootless tweak. Now, before you do that, I would highly recommend you go ahead here in the make file and change the 7.0 over here to say 15.0. And this one will create a proper tweak for newer iOS versions. It will make an ARM64 tweak and so on. So then you can just run the make do command with the rootless modifier and it will build the tweak. That's how it builds. So as you can see, it says installing over here. We don't need to install it. We can press enter and that's it. Here in the packages, now we have the deb file for our tweak. Even though it's an empty tweak, it did compile. So that's how you would compile it. You can pop it now on the device and test it. So yeah, you can do tweak development on Mac OS. You can also do it on Windows. It's a little bit more complicated, but it can be done. We want to explore that in further videos. So that's it for the part one of this making iOS tweaks saga. So thank you for watching. I'm Geo Snow. Peace out.